Hey guys, today in Art with Miss Burford we're going to make something which is great for Mother's Day and just a great little gift that the children can make. We're going to be making a tin foil necklace pendant. You will need tin foil, sharpies, string, prit stick, some necklace strings, cardboard, scissors and something round to draw around for the pendant. Depending on the ability of the children that you're working with, you can either do this as prep before the lesson or you can get the children to do it themselves. So all that you need to do is get a round object approximately the same size as this pepper grinder and just draw around it and cut it out so you've got a nice circular piece to work with. A prit stick lid might be a bit too small but a gel will be a bit big so try and find something in between. Each child will also need some string and they might need help cutting this as I know the school scissors aren't quite so strong but get them to think of what kind of design they might like on their pendant so I went for an angular Aztec kind of design so I laid out my string worked out roughly how long it needed to be and placed it down just approximately where it's going to go then glue it into place when you're happy with where you think it's going to go as it's easier to work with when your pieces of string are glued down um, but just smother the whole of the front of the pendant in glue and you can continue to add your pieces of string and build up your design I like to go for angular designs but you could also uh, create the letter of your name or you could do a spiral that's the only exception I'd say works well with our angles. Remember to cut off any excess string around the edge and this will keep it nice and neat. Your glue should still be sticky for this next step, if not reapply some glue over the cardboard areas, flip the cardboard over so it's facing the foil, flip it back over again and just firmly press down that foil and you can use the end of a pen which is nice and rounded to get in around those string parts so it brings out the detail. Keep using the end of the sharpie pen to just go around the string pieces and really flatten out the foil which is against the cardboard until you can see all the detail that you added earlier on. Flip your pendant over so that you have the cardboard side facing up towards you and then just smother it in prit stick and then cut around your uh, cardboard pendant leaving about a centimetre circumference around the edge of the circle which you're then going to fold over so that it sticks to that glue on the back of that cardboard. You can then neaten the edges of your foil using a pen, uh, pushing it against the cardboard so that it lays as flat as possible and making it nice and neat. Draw around your circle template again, so for me this was the pepper grinder, and just draw around this onto a fresh piece of foil and cut this out. Then glue it onto the back of your pendant so then now it hides all those bumpy bits of folded foil that you folded over earlier. Now we can move on to the fun bit of colouring in our different sections. You'll want to use a permanent pen, I recommend Sharpies for this, so you can colour in all your sections. Where you've got string, this separates each section and it's up to you or the children whether you want to leave these raised parts silver which can be effective or colour them in black like I do for this project. If you do decide to use a black sharpie to colour in the raised parts I would recommend going around the edge of the pendant to finish it off as well. Personally I think that the black gives a really nice finish to this and makes it look like a stained glass effect. Now for this part, adults only for this bit, so adults need to come round with scissors or a sharp pencil to create a hole at the top of the pendant. Don't let children do this because this can be very sharp and it is hard to punch the hole through the cardboard. This part can be tricky too so be on hand ready to help the children. So for this part you need to fold the necklace string in half, thread it through the hole and where there's that loop at the back you're going to thread the two ends of the string from the front 
through that loop going from the angle through the top. Then you just need to pull it tight. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art lessons like this every week and other art related content every now and then. See you next week for more art with Miss Burford.